Freedom of speech is under a microscope at colleges across Virginia. Today, we've learned state lawmakers want answers to the dozens of student arrests at anti-war protests in the state. Alex Little-Hales joins us with more on the search for answers as demonstrations continue. Yeah, well, you know, in just one month, remember, we've seen several high-profile student protests. In some cases, police responses have faced backlash, raising alarms for policymakers. Now, top lawmakers in both the House and the state Senate will investigate how exactly campus leadership keeps students and free speech safe. Following anti-war protests across Virginia colleges, state lawmakers begin a fact-finding mission. We have seen some responses that are concerning. We've also seen uh, some degree of violence. In a letter obtained by 13 News Now, Portsmouth delegate and House Speaker Don Scott has pooled 12 lawmakers to create the Committee on Maintaining Campus Safety and First Amendment Expression. They will investigate university policies as they attempt to answer questions like what exactly prompts university leadership to call in outside law enforcement? And what were the student rights in these protests? Dozens of students have been arrested across three of Virginia's largest public universities. From, from student voices primarily is that policies were changed uh, without going through the proper process. Policies were changed the day of. State Senator Ghazala Hashmi tells 13 News now that the same committee will be created on the state Senate side, too. In one area they'll dig deeper to find is alleged policy changes by university leaders on the days of the protests themselves. I want to find out why the policies that were initially shared with students and student organizations uh, seem to and not follow the proper course. So on the House of Delegates side, Norfolk's Bonita Anthony and James City County's Amanda Batten will serve on that newly formed committee. And Hampton State Senator Mamie Locke will serve on the Senate side, too. I'm Alex little for 13 News Now. And these committees are required to publish their findings before December 15th of this year.